went down the first end of the first week, was moved by what I saw, wanted to help, created a commercial for Occupy Wall Street. That commercial went viral, as it were. Uh, then, through a series of miracles, ended up on television, raised some money, put it on Fox News because I thought that was funny. That got a lot of press. Out of that press came a bunch of supporters of the movement out of the woodwork contacting me. One of those supporters uh, was like, I want to finance you to do more of these. We got to talking about what that would be, realized that there was no place to put media about the movement out there, and he bought the domain Occupy.com and entrusted it to me. Occupy.com is a media hub for the movement. We have every kind of content that the media is producing, um, video, music, articles, photography. We will hopefully have games at some point. The idea is for all the thousands of media makers who are making stuff in the spirit of the movement to find an audience out there in the broader culture. And the overarching thrust is to move the entire world over to the spirit of Occupy. Occupy movement demonstrated the importance of Twitter and Facebook. Uh, I mean, that was demonstrated before Occupy came around. It, it made it once again eminently clear how important these communication tools are for spreading the word. Most of the traffic that we get on Occupy.com is through Twitter and Facebook. We did a, uh, there was a huge article about Occupy.com and Mother Jones. Nobody gave a shit. So what counts is people sharing stuff with their friends. I don't know if it's changed the game. The game had already changed. It is taking advantage of the changed game.